hi there. I'm with my bestie, Sharon, and she's been learning to sew today, which is amazing because she's going to make her own dress for the gathering. And yeah. she didn't think she could do it, but we're making inroads. So we're both making... Well, before I go into that, tell us what dress you're making, Sharon. I'm doing a maxi dress because I know they suit me. I wanted a very simple pattern because, like Christine said, I'm a complete beginner. I know how to sew curtains and I've just started on quilting. It's just basically squares of material sewn together. But I've never sewn a dress and I can't take anything up. I can't do alterations. If I alter a pair of trousers, it ends up as a pair of shorts and then goes in the bin because they just end up lopsided. So I'm useless. Um, but yeah, Christine said, make this. I was like, okay. No. In fairness, I took Sharon down to Abercarns at Mostyn hmm. and all the way down, she was pecking my head saying, I'm not going to find a pattern. I'm not going to find any fabric that I like. I'm coming all this way. And I knew better, didn't I, girls? Hmm. Because how many fat patterns and fabrics did you buy <laughs> that vessel yeah. to the world? Oh, five patterns. Oh, seven different fabrics. <laughs> but... That's it. You've committed now. You've oh, yeah. got to start sewing. Yeah. So shall we sew them? What we've done is we're both making the same fabric, two different dresses. Sharon's doing a novice dress mm. and I'm doing an intermediate dress. We're not going to tell you which ones they are at the moment because we're going to do a reveal at the end when we finish them. But we'll show you the fabric. Grab that end, Sharon. Do you think it suits both of us? It's got that many colours in. I defy anybody to say it doesn't suit them because there is a colour in there for everybody. Mm. Yeah, it's lovely. Really bright, summery. I'm pleased. It's a viscose lawn, really floaty. And we can't wait to show you our finished garment. But we've got to make them first. So we're at the social and we're going to start making them today. Aren't you, Sharon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Wish Sharon luck. Wish me luck. And we'll bob back at various points if we've got something interesting to tell you about the makes. See you in a bit. Yes, I know. We're in the kitchen at the mill house, but they're all still sewing in there and I'm not doing a vlog in front of them lot. They'll laugh the socks off at us. <laughs> but we've bobbed on because... Grab your Sharon. We've done our bodices for our dresses. We're still not telling you which ones they are. So if you guess, you guess. I've done my bodice. I've got loads of shirring elastic sleeves, elastic all around the top, and I've just got to attach it to the skirt. Sharon's done her bodice. What have you done, Sharon? So there's gathers on the shoulder here. And it's all gathered across the front there. It's a wrap over and um, I've put a band on with an elasticated back at the back as well. So like back, little back wing sleeves. It says it was easy pattern. It is easy. It is not easy. It is easy unless you know all the sewing terms, which I don't. Thank God Christine was here to help me because she's guided me through every step of the way. The butterick pattern is not is not a beginner pattern it, all the terminology you need to know already and i i just didn't so this is why i said to you get a big four pattern which is what a buttrick pattern is but you will need a lot of guidance because they assume an awful lot they assume in the big four patterns that you know all the sewing terminology and they don't even tell you to finish your seams off mm. actually this one did in one place didn't it yeah but, yeah, not the easiest to follow. I was even scratching my head at one point. It was only by laying it out and looking at it that we managed to figure it out together. So we did it together, Sharon, not me, on my yeah, own. Yeah, man, I'm not a complete novice. I have I have sewn before. I've just never made a garment before. But I, I made curtains. But it's, it's not the same terminology at all. It's completely different. And following a, a dress pattern is just ridiculous. And I didn't even know... It was the shading on the pattern as well. I didn't even know whether, it because it didn't say right sides together, wrong sides together, apart from on one instruction. But then Christine pointed out that 
it was shading where the diagrams were. If it's a shaded, it's the it's one side, and if it's not shaded, it's another side. I can't remember which side is which. But I didn't even know that. It's little, it's little things like that. If you're a complete complete novice to sewing and you just thought, oh yeah, it says it's an easy pattern. It's things like that that they need to put in that you need to know. But Sharon, they'll be going for donkey shears. They sell millions of patterns and they don't need to do it, so they're not going to. But the next pattern she does, she's going to do an indie pattern and she's doing the Seasons of East Summer in New York dress, aren't you? Yeah. The one I brought today. And the difference in the detail, you've got to agree. You've got images, really detailed instructions, and that is what I class as a beginner pattern. It yeah. doesn't have to be beginner in the content of the garment that you're making, beginner in that you're giving clear instructions. Yeah. And I think that's more important than the ease yeah. of the garment. Yeah. And a lot of them do sew-alongs as well, which will be really yeah. handy to watch. And I did try to find one for the pattern that you've got, but mm. nobody's done one. So maybe Sharon will do a so <laughs> do her own channel and do a sew-along for her buttrick dress. <laughs> what do you think? I might never be making it again. <laughs> Let you know when it's finished. Right, we're going to go and finish these dresses. Uh, we've got a couple of hours to get them finished and then we'll give you a twirl in the finished garments. <laughs> Won't we, Sharon? Okay, because we're not leaving here till we've done them. See you in a bit. to seven and we're still at the mill house because we were not going anywhere excuse me mine's all wonky without finishing these dresses so we're going to reveal the patterns that we've done mine is the tilly and the buttons mabel dress and i've ha added 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 a frill let's get that and you can see mm. on the end the pattern that sharon's battled with yeah, it's a butterick pattern. I don't know the number, but I'll, I'll pop, pop it up. up. And then if you want to battle the butterick pattern, you can do too. <laughs> the instructions were abysmal, weren't they? Yeah, they were. And I'm not particularly, it's a thinner waistband than had originally anticipated. When I made the bodice and it was a nice big waistband, that looked great. And then when I attached the skirt to it, it shortened it by half. So, and I would have preferred a, a wider waistband, really. I think it would have had a bit more impact yeah. with a little bit of a wider one. And it would have made the dress a bit longer. So if I do make it again, we'll then the waistband I'll do the waistband bigger, actually. And differently. The way it's attached is mental, if you want my opinion. But hey, who am I? I'm not a pattern designer. Now, I've done the Mabel, I've lengthened the bodice by two inches because I made the top, and when I made the top, the elastic was right under my boobs, far too high, it looked ridiculous. So now it's further down near my waist, and I'm happy with it. And as I said, the only other alteration I've made is my frill. Yeah, it looks great. So are you going to make another pattern, Sharon? Yes. Linen okay. dress this time, because viscose be your first... <laughs> <laughs> dress everybody kept looking at me going and you're using viscose for your first dress i'm like yeah what's wrong with that yeah uh, yeah now i know <laughs> but, but it's done and i'm really pleased with it but there was no point i just kept saying to her, but there's no point in making a dress in a fabric that she's not gonna wear true sharon chose this fabric she loved it and when yeah. you love something then you will make it and you will persevere you won't give up because you love the fabric and it's a very wearable dress and it's love it to look stunning i love it i would i will definitely wear this dress if you yeah the gathering in a couple of weeks i'll be wearing this then and for my holidays as well yes, I, I, it's not really nice actually i would have added pockets as well oh we forgot the pockets sharon so maybe next time we didn't yeah. talk about pockets didn't we mm, yeah and with everything going on today We've had how many people in this room? There's been 19 of us today altogether. It's been yeah. 
the noise levels were ridiculous. It's been a great day. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's been a really good day. Okay, I'm messing with it. I need to sort that out. So we're going to go home now <laughs> and have a stiff drink, I think. <laughs> yeah. So I hope you've enjoyed our little journey and Sharon's first ever dress. Mm. So a beginner sewer can make a dress in viscose, yeah. make a very wearable dress. Yeah, thanks for pushing me. You're all right. You're welcome. The number of times she was going to give up is unbelievable, but she has done it all herself. I've not done any of it. She's just had guidance. Maybe a little bit more guidance today than was necessary because there were nearly 20 people in the room who knew how to sew, apparently. <laughs> but you got there. Yeah. Yeah. Right, we're definitely going. Hope you've enjoyed. See you again next time. Bye. Bye.